What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of I Am Pirate of War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have sallied forth and we're going to attack the garrison of Madrid because it's, apart from, I think it was only this African native infantry unit, it was an entirely generated garrison from the defenders. So let's, uh, let's take them out. We've got a couple of armies to the rear that are going to move up because there's a possibility there's more troops hiding around here because you can't actually see anything from the coast. But let's crack on. I mean, there is a small army there, but that's not a problem. Um, but yes, let's attack the city of Madrid. And let's bring it into the fold, and then continue that expansion out to the rest of the Iberian Peninsula. Once I've taken Madrid, it's onward to Lisbon, Gibraltar, uh, Morocco. Then probably finish off the Barbary Pirates along North Africa. Let's see where we are from there, because actually then we've got quite a significant amount of firepower built up, and we need a target. Um, okay, let's put my guns back here. Our lone howitzer is going to be quite important. You men are going to go through or cover the breach. Marines are going to, is going to go up around the right flank, backed up by some line infantry. These four are going to be attacking either this wall or this bastion here. And I mean, I know I'm sure it's not the right technical term, but whatever. All my cavalry is going to go on the right because I'm anticipating getting through this gate. General in the centre. See if you can get these. Oh, too late. I'm doing good work, but I'm, I want to see if I can get. If I can knock out some of these crew. Let's speed up time. So, what I'm going to do. Uh, in anticipation of follow up attacks, is probably only make the one breach. Make the one breach, when they defend it, start carcass-shotting the bejesus out of them. Hopefully. I wonder if my gunners will automatically attack the mortars themselves. I don't think they will. Yeah, not down this section of the wall. Maybe not down this corner section, maybe. Well, I don't know. That's usually a bit superfluous attacking that section. We can't interdict any troops running up and down this section of the wall here, which is a bit unfortunate, but there we go. Yeah, I might just keep doing this because with the with the uh, howitzers, because we are killing crewmen, we're not actually just reducing that, reducing the number of the guns anytime soon. One more volley from the guns. It should... Oh, one more, one more. Okay, there we go. They can't crew that gun anymore. Because only the one, and they need two. Get my 12 pounders just to attack the breach. Just want to knock out these mortars and carcass shot. Even though carcass shot's not in range, you're relying on the AoE effect. It's still the best way to reconcile it. There we go. Because I'll still do damage with the, with the shots bouncing through the breach because they're actually really well placed. Okay, let's use you to knock out at least one of the crews. Because this, these 12 pounders are going to do some good work knocking out the 16th regiment, that's for damn sure. I mean, check that out. Already there's a good amount of casualties down there. Okay, so you finally disabled one gun. As long as we disable a few guns, I'm okay. Because we can push in through the wall here pretty quick. Just any any little helps. Okay, right. Ok, 
get in. These guys are going to prepare to fight their way up the bastion. And my cavalry is just going to sit up here and wait. Sit up here and wait for access into the fort before they run in and kill the mortars. It's a bit of a funky deployment. Okay, considering we're actually going to be pushing up and not necessarily assaulting the breach exactly, we're going to be... There we go, they're starting to open up. We want to push out with these fellas and secure the gate first before we push in through the breach. Because the mortar effects of how it's a... the morale effects of mortar fire are pretty darn significant. Some good kills. To be honest, over here it's probably sufficiently open that what's going to end up happening is I'm just going to push my three infantry units through the gate and form line. Or maybe even try and assault the rear of this position here. There you go, it's thinned out their numbers somewhat. There's only two crew. In which case, you guys can probably get back to... Actually, you guys could probably attack over here. Start to thin out that crowd. Get my grenadiers up here to secure the gate, because they're the smallest in number. Actually, they, are, they have a lot more melee attack than my marines have, but my marines are generally a bit better across the board, including shooting. And they're the same experience level, so the absolute numbers may be different, but the relatively it should be the same. I hate when they do this. I should have been more on the ball with this. It's quite a lot of chaps up there. Okay, now you can attack them. I just didn't want to charge. No, okay. I want these guys to accumulate more numbers before getting strung out up here. There we go, we've got this gatehouse. When it is, just let them carry on scaling the walls. Because yeah, look, they didn't really seem to want to make up their mind. I mean, that's not good. That's a bit... Okay, new fellows. Now you guys can attack, because at least you've got a good number of men up on the wall. You guys cease fire for now. So my marines get there and form up. That, oh, that was quite a good carcass <laughs> shot, actually. Yeah, it doesn't like this. Send up a reserve.
Dragoons, get in here. A mine of some description got detonated. Get all my cavalry over towards the center. Of our Dragoons and knock out the field artillery. But they don't want to abandon the front gate, which is admirable. Let's get a unit of Dragoons to sit on the gate. Sit on the, the centre. Come on, you men go after them. Get my cuirassier involved. Excellent. Ah. Yes, sir. My grand is to take position on this section of the wall. Many, many, many dead troops, including a lot of dead of my troops, actually. Hmm. Keep killing them. But to be honest, we're about to take the gate anyway. Take the wall. Take the city. Yeah, my cuirassier. Ooh. Ceasefire. With my howitzers, because that's probably why so many of these men are dead. Not my cuirassier. Keep on attacking them, to be honest. City is taken. Many, many Spaniards are dead in the breach. You guys are firing. You guys will hopefully. Where are you guys going? There we go. So Madrid's taken. Our forces are in pretty good nick. So we should be ready to defend the city if that needs be. We'll push troops up to reinforce. Can't won't be able to replenish anything because I haven't got the money or we'll fix anything. I can replenish stuff. I'm gonna want to get rid of Salamanca. So we got these troops at Bilbao. Not bad. Oh, oh okay. Two full stacks. Alvaro Castro and Urbano Garocho. Although you've got lots of bandoleros who are quite um, quite light troops. You chaps advance towards this direction. You chaps advance towards Bilbao. You guys carry on trying to ma match them. So Genoa, are you are you chill? Minus five. No, you're gonna have to wait here for a bit unless. Minus two. Can take one more militia off from Turin. We'll leave one there at least, just to make sure. Minus one. You guys have come to terms with it. Turin's come to terms with it. Cool. So now we've got you looking for employment. And that employment is going to be Corsica. I mean, you guys need to get replenished and sent up to Iceland. And we've also got troops down here, although to be honest, let's get my little naval squadron to come down here and wipe out these pirates, because there's only two, yeah, a galleon and a sloop, but a brig, so yeah, just sweep these guys clear. Unless those guys are stuck. Hmm. Fair enough. So you guys, you're probably going to... 
we got two free slots once we get this native auxiliary unit back. So I'd probably like... Let's try to get something a bit extra. So I want to take Martinique, Antigua, Punda. Everyone else is in fairly good standing with. I mean, lots of pirate nations that, are, that would be lovely to grab up. Um, let's hit in turn. And let's see what happens. Let's see how Spain reacts. So they've got the ships moving around, that's fine. They can raid some of our ports if they like, but the problem is we've got so many ports, we're making so much cash that actually they'll never be able to wage a true economic war against us. Where's your armada now, Spain, when you've lost your capital city? I'll tell you where. Nowhere. Hmm. Okay. So we're about our garage. So this is the army from Cartagena. Uh, yes, we want to intercept. Because we have one breach to defend, which means they should, in theory, mass for the breach. It may not happen. The AI does change things up and they will go for the walls as per usual but typically they do love a breach but then again the breach is on the wrong side of the city for them so they'll have to run all the way around it if they don't have any guns or not many guns they'll go for it yeah that's just it's not bad so the name of the game is to not is to not uh, put spend put too many assets here defending the wall. Sadly, we won't get stakes. So we're gonna have to rely on some overlapping fire. Let's put some of our weaker units here because they can at least fill in some of these awkward gaps. But Union of Grenadiers inside the house, because they usually always love going for the houses. Okay, so you guys are defending, which means you've got these guys left. To do stuff with. Which is an okay amount of troops. You guys go here. In theory, we want more guys here. So let's leave this infantry undeployed, leave the guns undeployed, because I want to try and see if I can respond to where they're going to go. They have no artillery, so they either have to scale the walls and take the city or use a handy dandy breach okay let's get one unit up against up on top of this gatehouse and you guys up on top of this gatehouse Good hits. 31st Regiment, 31st Regiment here, Bandoleros. They're good units, but the light units, and they're quite soft and squidgy. So there's a reasonable contingent pushing around. These Dragoons have dismounted to fight in the city. Some units look, look like they are going to go try get into the walls or round through the breach. There we go. Sometimes you have to turn uh, fire it will off because they've got no one to shoot at and then turn it back on when they have got someone to shoot at. That's not ideal because no one covering this gatehouse. Send up some Furacier and back that up with the Dragoon unit. 
to block the gate if it's needed. Ideally, I want you guys... Well, you guys are probably going to redeploy over to... They're sending their marines to secure the gate, so they might get the gate. No, thankfully they've decided to pull back. You guys have only partially scaled the wall, so you might actually... Well, it looks like they're, they are all going to... Fire at will, mercenaries. Carcass shot ahoy. Grenadiers attempting to scale the wall, as is this infantry. Charge my Crossier through the gate. So I'd love to fight these bandoleros. You men engage the infantry de marina. There goes the first irregular unit, down to nine men. And the 21st Regiment are going to have a go next. These Walloon guards look like they're going to try and push, which is good luck to them. We've been surprised by the Regiment of the 35th, 31st. Send my cavalry out, start scrapping. Fight those grenadiers. You men get outside. Attack the Walloon Guards. You've got none else to attack, so you men get over here. Shore up that front. Attack this regiment of foot. You guys have to attack the 3rd Regiment by some time. Push neck horse out for this front is as well. So they're going to make it to my gunners. As soon as my gunners leave the guns, they're going to fall back. There we go. Now they can man their guns again. You guys can form up. Keep firing. Cast a shot. There we go. Spun the volume guards around. And you men get up here and attack the 31st Regiment. Fight the Bandoleros. Get the Dragoons up here. Cause it, oh, no. I say, it looks like they might be trying to push through the gate. You use a lot of infantry trying to push through cavalry in the gates. Because my cavalry, my artillery have routed it, left the gates open, but now they're okay. Try, for, yeah, try and f no fight the infantry to marina. My infantry are winning here. Their cavalry 
Oh, the general's bodyguard is charging through the gate. Go on, Marines. Good, you've cleared them out. My Prishnek horse is going to keep attacking them. You guys leave this gate, push over to the other gatehouse. Bandleros there have been defeated. New men charge along the wall into those Bonian guards. Let's bring my dragoons back to this gatehouse. See, the, grand, the general's bodyguard might be winning because they got a charge off, so they got some extra damage. The new men hit the Wallian guards in the flank. Hold them off, Marines. Hold them off. My grenadiers over here as well. So you guys crash into the rear of the 31st Regiment of Infantry and now free out the 16th to also be able to redeploy because it looks like this entire unit's up the walls now. You know, all these guys are a bit, not superfluous exactly, but overkill. Get Mr. Farber over here. I've pulled my cavalry back. Yeah, if you guys could both kill the Wallian guards, that would be perfect. Kyosier is just clearing out people near the gate as well as they can. You men should clear out the 31st well enough. I mean, realistically, I want to pull... Marines, a unit of Marines over here, and this unit over to here. Prishnek horse is doing good. Good, you men charge along the front. Good. You men charge along the wall. Some of the warning guards are trying to scale the wall. So you men get to here. this infantry to hit the enemy in the rear. These two weaker units hit the Walloon guards. Which, to be honest, you cannot also hit. Good, the firing down. You guys actually hold. Got plenty of units here now converging on the back of this enemy infiltration. You guys scale the wall and engage the general. Actually, to be honest, I might just get my how it says to keep engaging the general. Yeah, because it's a rainy battle, we're witnessing sound problems. Scale the wall again. Charge my dragoons out to back up my cuirassier. Ugh. They've done real good. There we go, the enemy here have been shattered. It's 
Let's take my Val Dragoons, get them outside. You get my Dragoons, got the Warrior Guard, they got my Curassier, go after the General's Bodyguard. Should be able to kill a Spanish General, wherever he is. I'd be really in the thick of it too. They're getting into a musket battle with us, but it's not going to do them any good. Let's get Mr. Barber over here to try boost their morale. I mean, this cavalry unit just held off an entire infantry unit by themselves. Only six Curacier left. Yeah, they may not may not flee. Like, the enemy general's been killed. So let's get cavalry over here. You guys chase down the second regiment, because why the hell not? Get my line infantry at the gate. My dragoons slam into the flank of the Irish regiment. Actually, you know, you've got a colonial light cavalry there to fight. Should win against colonial light. Then again, you are effectively light dragoons, so. Although we did lose a bunch more men than them in the initial charge, so it remains to be seen how well my Dragoons will hold. The main thing was I wanted my Marines here to gain to get on the wall and engage the Irish Regiment. That's the second General's Bodyguard, I see. There we go, now my marines are engaging them. Yeah, I think my they're, they're like cavalry eating my dragoons up. Unfortunate, but there we go. It's not going to stop us from killing the Irish regiment. It's not going to stop us from killing the general's bodyguard. The enemy forces outside the gate have broken. You men have formed up how it says attack that cavalry combat. So is this unit still have a general or is it the other unit you killed the general of? I want to say this is the unit that lost their general. Come on you men. Ooh, they're, they're, they're shaking. Well, our morale must be pretty good. We're all 11. I suppose they're not. As it says, Dragoons are not really cavalry. Should probably should choose the howitzer to attack the Irish regiment. There we go. Killed the enemy cavalry. You men form up to help sweep them away. Get my cavalry over here to go charge these dragoons with my general. Scallywags, it's a lot of you. Yeah, they're all doing damage to my guys. Not as much damage as we're doing to them. That's right, everyone fire out. Generals one way, line infantry another. Let's 
upgrade I am going to be. See, I wonder if you guys can hit the Irish infantry. I want to say you can. No, apparently not. But a good volley was enough. The Dragoons are wavering. And they're broken. That was a bit messier than I thought. Still, I'll take it. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, that is everyone. Good stuff. That's one army driven away. Let's see if ooh, the army composition is not very good. Don't don't try it. Don't try it. Oh, no. uh, uh. Okay. Hmm. Why didn't they go for it? They must have lots of light infantry. Oh, I worked out. The Dutch are... Not that the Ottomans and the Polish are the ones at war. They're still at war with each other. So we haven't got to worry about what's going on there. Two great empires will be bashing each other to bits. You can try and push towards Hungary. Probably do some raiding if you like. Not enough to make me really bothered. I'm still just going to hold in the on my eastern front. Focus my energies on upgrading my core empire plus... Expanding to in the West and in America. Here come the annual pilgrimage of Ottoman scholars to try and steal my tech. I mean, it must be very effective. Oh, actually, this can go straight past. Well, it must be reasonably effective to just bypass your own tech tree and steal all the time, but I'm pretty sure don't your guys die from doing that. No, no, they gain negative traits, which means that people don't trust them at the universities because they're always trying to steal tech, so they become worse at it the more they fail, I think is a thing. I don't really do it because they're usually just better off. They're more consistently valuable boosting your own research. Unless you have no choice and you have to steal it, like some other re smaller factions I've tried. But generally, just Use them to build your own technology, to research your own stuff. That generally seems the better call, I think. But let's see, the Sun 10 phase has been a bit juddery. Normally it's only the Ottomans that do stuff, everyone else just kind of carries on. Pirates are going to pirate. So, you aren't going to go that way. You men are going to fall back. You men are going to take the city. You men back them up, keep pushing. Got some elite infantry up near Paris. They're going to join them. They're going to go attack this fragment of an army here let's get these buildings repaired you're up at full strength mr barber you require support although i'm probably going to just wait Ooh, unless i want heavy horse howitzers heavy horse howitzers you don't need any artillery so let's get you heavy cavalry. Yeah, we lost a heavy cavalry unit. Hohenzollern. It was a Hohenzollern we had last time. Yes. There we go. Let's not do anything with any of these ports because they're going to be destroyed. Or raided, I should say. Not destroyed, exactly. Let's upgrade La Havre. Let's upgrade Greenwich. Enemy raids, port located, construction complete. Good. Let's pick up Brussels, new administration building, and let's hop over to the Americas. So you've got two spaces. Well, first of all, 
build an actual sloop to garrison the port. You men can repair. Paramaribo. Get two native musketman auxiliaries. Let's upgrade a road. Which must be road upgrades across the board here. Or actually I could get... No, I need to upgrade this military gunner's barracks to get access to proper line infantry. That's what I need. Boy to Prince Bay. I'll leave you alone. Actually, I might even... No, that doesn't, that doesn't help. Smart decision. 2,800, yeah, it still doesn't actually help. Um, I do want more line. Fundamentally, I want more line. I mean, I could get a... I mean, I don't even... Oh, no, I can't get... Melee troops. Could get some cavalry, actually. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Let's let that army rebuild. Then we'll go and take Martinique, Antigua, Wunda. And then the Caribbean largely is ours. I would like an actual city, though. So potentially Quebec. We're allied with the native peoples of the north, so we will end up needing to... Definitely attack Huron, that's okay. Well, ultimately, if we knock out these regions, sail north, take Newfoundland, then Quebec, and then kind of spread out to Fort Nashwick and Montreal over here. That's probably the better decision. All this infantry still marching south to meet Jakob Leitner. Although you could... Five troops... Move... Yeah, you need howitzers of some description. But, doesn't really matter. Got a Varka. Yeah, a lot of light infantry. Bandoleros, Amazons. Yeah, no. They, they would have been pretty knackered. I don't have any surplus sloops here, do I? Doesn't look like it, but I need them. Although I could use... This militia unit. Take the sloop Hildebrand. Take Georg Guthman. Get him aboard. They don't... Ooh, I was about to say they don't have a port I can actually do stuff with. So I'm just going to take me a turn to do it. But actually, no, we can. Let's take Corsica, because that will get rid of Genoa, and that's one of our enemies defeated. In the Mediterranean. Awesome. So, mostly mostly conscripts. March forward in good order. Sweep them away. Destroy their forces. How it's a battery. Backed up by a foot artillery battery. Because they will fire over their heads pretty happily. The question is, will they fire over my line at Fadri's heads? Okay. I think they will. The regulars on the left. Bulk of my cavalry on the left. I'm going to put my horse guards. So one unit of horse guards on the right to help screen. General in the centre. Skirmishes up. Let the artillery fire at whomever they like. Cavalry get up here. Frycore cavalry fire will off. Get my howitzers firing carcass shot because some of these targets are just so darn good. I mean, why is my. Good kills, good kills. K 
heaven forbid you charge your cavalry over that. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Battle lines have been drawn. Freukor advance on their lonesome. They can push forward, fire at will off. Probably going to put a volley into the conscripts. Put a volley in, get my hussars to push in and shatter them. Skirmishers. Send my Frey Corps up against the general. These guys are, just don't have any staying power. As long as we don't run through their stakes, we're okay. Get my cavalry out of the way. Because our line is going to advance. Withdraw my cavalry. You guys gonna get involved, or are you gonna watch the rest of your army just be destroyed? Actually, I might even. No, you're not in range of my howitzers. Hey, that's enemy cavalry. Okay, front line. Advance. Yeah, let's cover the corner. Fusiliers, get into the ruins. Support the Freud Corps, get the regiment uh, force. You men push out, my irregulars push out, kill the top of the hill. Retargeting my artillery. General up. No. God damn. Shift click. Actually, no. Artillery don't focus on them. Because they'll hit the ruins. Just like that. Yeah, there we go. And all my marines, are, all my fusiliers are dead. At least I worked it out just as it happened. At least I could feel better about that. Brocore. Your fight was off, so why are you shooting? Unless I give you an order to shoot, which is entirely possible. Push forward, men. Heavy cavalry, go for the provincial cavalry. Immediately they turn around. And even this enemy position has crumbled. Just clip the corner. There we go. How it says get to work on this conscript position here. Heavy cavalry go after that unit of conscripts because that cavalry unit charged into us and died. To be honest, I want to find anywhere to deploy most of you guys. 
just run into the center. There's a lot of routing troops here. Let me get my cavalry to chase down those conscripts. Switch fighter round shot. You guys are just going to try and hit the Pokemon because they're. When they're spread out like this, you can do some good damage to them. Okay, now run out, run away. Bring my heavy cavalry back. Run, fella! So my light horse, go into the general's bodyguard, my heavy cavalry, get out of the way. Yeah, everyone's... Everyone's just done. Especially those Pikemen once they run into range. Where were you? To protect your king. They realised where they were. Get up here, Curacier. Hit the Pikeman in the rear. Curacier, engage the Pikeman as well. Pikeman are good, but against too much heavy cavalry. I mean, these light horse, these guys are going to fall like flies. But you guys will have a great time. Because he's a pikeman after all. There you go, they're wavering. Conscripts are coming back into the mix. Newman push up here. Cavalry fight the conscripts because they're not going to be around for too long with their silly little floppy hats. Mercenaries hit the militia, marines hit the militia. Marines filter through and support the attack against the conscripts. Not that they're really needed, but... Have at it. Uh. <laughs> Mercenaries managed to make the militia route without actually fighting them. Let's get a few free kills. But there we go. The great kingdom of Genoa destroyed. Now we are the masters, the true masters of all of Italy. Good, so you guys replenish. My fuse laser is still alive. Good. So you guys hop back into Nice. Good. Okay, let's hit N10. So go on, Spain. What are you going to do? You attack my sloops off of Iceland. How very noble of you. How very noble, what a pity that your entire armada is going to disappear in a puff of smoke. Your ships are lost. Your empire will be lost. They're falling back to Lisbon. Good, so my main force can advance to the southwest. My replenishing force can sit inside the capital and hold it, and then we'll push south towards Gibraltar. Poland's going to Poland. The Ottomans are going to Ottoman. So ideally, once I've taken over 
Western Europe, I can then creep across North Africa, get a front against the Ottomans in Cairo, and then start to invade the Middle East at the same time I'm pushing down through the Balkans. That would be an ideal sequence of events, I think. The question is, will they let us get away with it? But looking like... Oh, actually, things are moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, see, they always trick me. Okay, right. What I'm going to do is I'll drop the recording and bring you guys back when something happens. See you in a second, everyone. And we're back in the mix. So, lots of Russian movement. They're building up their forces. I think I need to keep building up my... Every city I've got on the in the east probably wants a army sat behind it to back it up. Because right now... It could be vulnerable to a series of assaults against one of my cities and that would lose not just a valuable uh, fortification, it would also lose me an army that's actually pretty decent. So I need to make some investments there to hold the Eastern Front. So, but it will generally just be recruit a general for each city, each city and then uh, recruit directly towards the army. Don't build up troops behind the line, just... Make troops march up to the front as and when they are ready. But I'd like to think they're going to... Well, ultimately, they're not going to focus on anyone else because that would break with their behaviour that we've seen consistently all the way through this campaign. And then the pirates get a pirate, that's okay. We're coming for you, pirates. Building up a little pirate fleet. 31,000. Okay, you guys keep replenishing. So what I want to do... It's Warsaw. Congratulations, uh, Dragoon unit. You are going to provide your general, Sigmund Linz. You've been promoted, Sigmund. And this is where I rue not spending money on the recruitment capacity in the east, because then it's all going to come out of these large cities. Come on. Come on, Sigmund. Let's not do anything crazy off the bat. Let's go for one, two, one, two, one, two, pikemen, line infantry guard, line infantry guard, lancer guard. Good, that's a good force that can build up. Mr. Mac, you require some good artillery. two batteries of actually what you can do actually hold hold the phone cancel the crewmen of the lancers because you can take with three units of cavalry from this guy recruit one heavy artillery unit then recruit two 12 pounders Plus a oh actually can I get what sort of I can, I can get Jaeger now as light infantry. Get two Jaeger, that'll be that army complete. So Sig Sismund. Okay, is there a horse grenade? Okay, right. Go remember the horse grenade is for the next army we create. Probably get what the heavy howitzer units. They'll take. They're gonna take some time to get over here. Once they're built, they're built. And what I'm probably gonna want to do is recruit a militia in Paris. Militia. Can't recruit more land there, militia. Hmm. Weird. Okay, let's take you. Garrison Breast. 
I mean, a bit of dried arc, which is just going to take four turns. So let's get some ships built. Let's start to build a bit of a Bavarian navy. You fellas can push against Bilbo. You're very light on indirect artillery, but that'll do. You're going to replenish. We're not going to draw. Well, ultimately, if, if they can go south and knock out this army here, then push on and take Gibraltar, this force can push on towards Lisbon. I mean, those fleets destroy. That's, yeah, fleets are very grandiose way to say sloop. Bam! I've got my my Baltic squadron here. That's not bad. One more turn till fly by rank. Not fly by rank. Platoon fire. <laughs> As I've already got fly by rank. Platoon fire doesn't do anything in this mod. Um, it just it's useful for the gains in administration skill and level of training. Still on the march. They're sending their scholars up towards my institutions. But I don't think it's going to help them. Well, it won't help them. They've only got a handful of territories. They were the, well, three, exactly. We can work it out. Yeah, they've got Morocco, they've got Gibraltar, they've got Lisbon, and that's it. Because we've got all the rest of the ter their territories they previously owned in Europe. Then we can wipe them out. We are a handful of turns away from Quicklime. Which will really, really, really clear out the enemy. Especially the Russians. That's the great equaliser here for us. And looks like the Ottomans are going to be Ottomany. So, see you in a second, everyone. Ah, we're back in the game. But at least I'm building up my strength against Russia, because they are massing. And Sweden could betray me at some point. Not necessarily betray me, but you know, cause us problems. But yeah, I don't want to build up my navy because that's an area I'm quite lacking in. Especially as lots of these trade regions are actually. they're quite ripe for the taking. Soon firing is done. You've gone short on carbines? No. Got one, two copper bottoms. Actually, that's a bit underkill for someone like you. Go for citizenship. Reduces unhappiness, but then we can get to the abolition of slavery, which gains us lots of unhappiness for the lower classes, which is great because we are an absolute monarchy. So they already don't like us. Try taking him out again. No. Nope. Okay. So let's take one of these second rates. Cormoran. Congratulations. Herbert Einstein. You look very familiar. Let's go to second and two thirds just to. I, I want to try and stay away from my fleets being too top heavy. With massive ships. I don't mind having some first rates, and first rates are awesome. But I just kind of want them to be a bit more... A bit more... Realistic. Because the Royal Navy, I think they've had more than 27-ish first rates in the world at any one time. And that's not to say I don't, that's not to say I don't want to build any more than that. It's more that I don't want to... I don't know, I want to try being a bit more real, quote-unquote, because normally that's something I'm usually quite bad at doing. So we are going to attack that Spanish army in Bilbao. But you men can now combine here. Jonas Frankfurter. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't. I completely didn't do it properly. Sloop spread out. Ships get aboard. So we're going to go after Martinique. Pirates are raiding it. Actually, first of all, let's see what they got. Ah, okay. Burn up the port. So then what I'm probably going to want to do is go back to Cavana. I can't upgrade it because I've spent all my money already. In which case, congratulations, you get a lumber mill. Reasonable little boost to region wealth. I need to upgrade the government buildings, I need to upgrade roads, I need to upgrade a lot of stuff. But the problem is, there's a lot of things going on in the world right now. So you guys go up to here. This sloop is going to relocate to Bilbao. Then we're going to fight this properly, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing war against the Spanish Empire. Cheers, everyone.